Liver casserole, dripping sandwiches. All genuine dishes served on VE Day. Mm, no, you're all right. I'll stick to the toasted tea cakes, thanks. <laughs> Hi, mate. Can I get a refill in here, please? You can't just push in. I'm not pushing in. Well, technically you are, because there's a queue and I'm it. Well, yeah, but you're going to be ages. They'll be dead quick. Will they, Wolves? Well, can you hurry up, then, because I'm going to be late for work. I can't believe you let him out, to be fair. Oh, give it a rest. We're married. Come on, he's a barlow. Anything with a pulse. Oh, come on, leave it, you. I know you're stressed out because you've got Shona coming back, but don't be taking it out on us. And you're going to have to get that shifted and all, because I know you promised Roy to get out of here. Well, it's all right. She's not here till the afternoon. Are you sure? Yes. All right, now, just let me have my tea cake in peace. Wind your neck in. You sleep all right? Hmm. <clears throat> yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, not bad. Who's used all the pans? Oh, that was me. Sorry. I, I was, um, I was making eggs, but I burnt one, so I, I had to use another one. And I, um, I had one for bacon and then the, um, the little one for, for beans. Yeah, all right, it's fine. I'll just have some toast. Oh, I'm sorry. <clears throat> I finished the bread. I, I can buy some more. And I'll, I'll wash them pans. Right, forget it. I'll just get something at Roy's. This must be so hard for Emma, living with her ex. I do think I feel I'm living with two. That's true. Not for much longer, though. I'm, um, <clears throat> hopefully I'll, I'll find someone else to live soon and then you two can move on. I wonder if I should go too. No, this is your home. You need stability. I worry that I make things worse for her. Well, how do you mean? Well, every time she sees me, she will think of you. You've done nothing wrong, OK? Once I've gone, you and Emma will be best mates. I'll just be a distant memory. Shona's back this afternoon, is she? Shona, welcome back. How are you? Yeah, I'm okay, I think. Hi, yeah. Oh, sorry. There you go. Well, not homeless, you cheeky cow. You all right? Oh, um, I, I didn't know that you were going to be here. I was just having some breakfast. Uh, David. Hi, I'm Aaron. I'm Shona's support worker. Pleased to meet you. Should we just get Shona settled in upstairs? Yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. Uh, do you need any help? Uh, well, not, not just yet. Uh, we'll get organised here. Perhaps you could pop round later this afternoon. Uh, yeah, yeah. Any word from Johnny? Oh. Not really, Rita, you know. Johnny will be putting his feet up with a bottle of wine while we're here running his pub for him, won't he? Let me get your hand with that. Oh, I thought you'd never ask. Sorry, I'm uh, miles away this morning. I didn't get much sleep. Mm. Well, I want it from there all around the bar. Can I say, I'm very glad you're doing something for VE Day. This is probably a very rude question. Oh, well, coming from you, that's no surprise. <laughs> I'm sorry about the other day. I was just trying to... I know what you were just trying to do. You were just trying to chat Liz up. Guilty as charged. <laughs> hey, Rita, how old were you when, you know? I was 13. 13? Mm -hmm. Can you remember it? Like it was yesterday. <sighs> it was like... Well... <laughs> A great wave of relief all across the country because it was finally over. All that evil and horror over. A relief of everybody was relieved. My granddad fought in the war, which is why all of this is great in my book. Not enough pubs do it these days. Well, absolutely. So people will forget, so we have to remind them. Yeah, and hopefully we won't get any more nutters in tonight. Oh. Sorry, I didn't mean to... Uh... No, it's all right. I heard what happened. You were very brave to do that. Yeah, well, I'm just glad that Scott was there to chuck them out. To be honest, I think they were more scared of that Abby. Uh. <laughs> well, hopefully they won't come back to disturb you again. I'm sure they won't. Do you want a brew? Uh, 
No, I think we're all right, aren't we? Yeah, yeah, we're just passing, so we thought we'd pop in and see how he is this morning. Oh, no change. How are you doing? Oh, you know, same as yesterday. Not sleeping, stressed out. We were wondering whether we could take him out for a bit, you know, give you a bit of rest. No. No, that's not a good idea. A bit of fresh air, it might do him the world of good. And what if he gets a cold or an infection? That'll just set him off again. You can't keep him locked up in here all the time. I'm not keeping him locked up. I'm looking after him. I don't want to take any risks. OK, fine. Well, you know, another time, maybe. Right, good, thank you. Actually, Leanne, I don't think it is fine. Well, actually, I don't want you coming in here and telling me what to do. That's not what I'm doing. I'm a mum as well. I understand why you want to protect your son. Yeah, exactly. My son. Steve's his dad. Look, Trace, we don't want to row. I'm not rowing, Steve. I'm stating facts. Steve is as worried as you are. He's not sleeping either. And like you, he wants what's best for Oliver. But who's to say that a little trip to the park or the city farm won't do him the world the of good? The city farm? Are you insane? Think of all the germs. He loves those animals. He knows all the noises and he's got little names for them, like Mr Pig. He's, he, he's a pig. And then there's Arnold. Oh, I don't know. Look, we'll take all the necessary precautions. We'll take the hand gel, antibacterial wipes, the works. Nothing bad is going to happen, Leanne, except for a little lad gets to have a normal day with his dad. All right, fine. I suppose a few hours won't hurt, will it? So how come you live here, then? Well, Roy is my uncle, so... Where's your mum and dad? The dead. Oh, sorry. It's OK. Uh, it's important we try and keep to a routine, because that will really help Shona adjust to her new surroundings. Routine. Excellent. I am nothing, if not a creature of habit. Maybe a rotor would provide some much-needed structure. Possibly. Establish meal times, allocated slots for the bathroom. Yeah, maybe don't make it too prescriptive. We wanted to relax, Roy. Oh, relaxation time. Excellent idea. Oh, yeah. Uh, Alex said it's all right to come up. I I'm not sure that's a good idea at the moment. I thought you said this afternoon. Well, I've just brought some magazines. We don't want to give Shona too much to cope with. What do you mean cope with, Roy? I'm her husband. Uh, that's why we're doing this. Well, she needs to get used to me being around. That's not going to happen if she's just stuck here. Yeah, uh, oh, OK, it's fine. W why don't you um, put the kettle on? Make us a nice drink. That's a good idea, Aaron, considering how she takes it. Do you, Roy? Milk on sugar. Trouble. Stops me thinking about stuff. Speaking of trouble, I, I just want to thank you for last night. Oh, don't worry about it. Can't stand scumbags like that. And believe me, I've met a few. <laughs> yeah, well, I really appreciate it. I, I got you this. Oh. Mm, nice. I love a bit of fizzy plonk. Goes well with kebabs. <laughs> well, it's the least I could do, you know, especially after everything we've been through. Oh, uh, that's water under the bridge. And thanks again, Anne. Listen, um, what you said in the, in the pool last night, I know how hard that was to be. Yeah, I didn't really want to have to announce it in front of everyone like that. Well, between me and you, the stuff I did in my past that I'd rather forget, so I might have some idea what you've been through. Like, if you ever want to talk about it, you've got no-one else to turn to, well, you know where I am. Thanks, Abby. Yeah, no probs, and thanks for the rules. You're welcome.
And I've packed him a jumper as well, just in case he gets cold. OK. But don't let him overheat, because you don't want him having another convulsion. OK. And make sure you don't give him any food, because you know he can't eat. I wouldn't do that. I'm not stupid. Yeah, I know, Steve, but I know what you're like when there's an ice-cream van around. Fair point. And, well, if he sees an ice-cream van, he's going to want an ice-cream, isn't he? And he won't understand that he can't have one. And Nobody then he's gonna go... is having any ice-cream. Nobody. We know that Oliver's ill and we're going to look after him. Sorry, I'm, I'm just worrying, that's all. Oh, I know we are, but he's going to be fine. This is the first time I've been without him since he's been ill. Well, come with us, then. Yeah, Amy's coming, and Emma, I think. Uh, oh, uh, I, no, it wouldn't be right. It's family day out, isn't it? Oh, Leanne, as much as I've wanted to deny it over the years, you are family. Bring Nick, bring Simon. Are you sure? Yeah, of course we are. Yeah, all right, then. Yeah, I'll, I'll come. I'd like that. I'll just get me stuff. The sun has got his hat on. Hip, 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 hooray. V Day. What? Victory in Europe. 75th anniversary. Oh, right, yeah, of course. Sorry. No, you'd actually be sorry. I wasn't even born. I was just a glint in my father's trousers. Is that everything, then? Yeah. Well, you're not going to drink that at one sitting, are you? Oh, you're planning a little celebration? Yeah, something like that. Right, because it's premium lager. It's a very high alcohol content, that. I know. That's why I want to buy it. Are you going to sell it to me? I have a duty as a shopkeeper to advise customers about responsible alcohol consumption, particularly when there's a young baby in the house. Or I could just go to Fresh Goes, you know, and we could avoid this little guilt trip. I'm not tripping any guilt, Daniel. <laughs> I'm giving you some friendly advice. I'm in a rush. Right. Do you know what? Actually, here you go. Keep the change. Uh, oh, yes, well, don't mind if I do. What does yours do again? That's the night. All right, Paul. No. Why is there anybody doing flipping any work here today? Sorry, I completely forgot it was my shift. Yeah, and I distracted with all my nattering. I've gone on my break. I better go. He held a grudge. I'll be, I'll be down soon. Th thank you, Nina. And I'll see you later for more Real Housewives of Cheshire. Oh, yeah, I can't wait. So, when do you like Real Housewives of Cheshire? I don't know, just do. There'll be quite a lot of things different about Sean and her. So do I work in the cafe, then? Not just yet. We'll introduce you back in slowly. But I used to work there, did I? You were an enormous help to me. I now can't even get anything out of the oven without burning myself. Well, with the right support, I'm sure you'll be fine eventually. And if not, we'll just buy you some oven gloves. <laughs> oh, he is lovely, this fella, isn't he? What would I do without him? <laughs> Right, well, I think I'll get off. Need to make kids tea. Oh, yeah, you've got kids, haven't you? What are the names again? Max and Lily. You were very fond of them. Right. Sorry. You were even going to adopt them before, you know, you got shot. Was I? Oh, I had no recollection of that at all. Sorry. <sighs> I seem to be saying that a lot lately. That's fine. Thanks for the tea, Roy. You're welcome. See ya. See ya. So, you coming here every day, then? Oh, you bought me flowers. <laughs> That's so kind. I love them. <laughs> oh, no, no, these are for, uh, these, these for Emma. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah. I forgot you do that. So, um... Are you two getting back together, you and Emma? No. No, no, that's, um, that's definitely over. Oh, that's a shame. You were nice together. Yeah. Well, she's just convinced that I'm secretly in love with someone else, so... And are you? Maybe. Someone I know? Yeah. And what is she like? She's amazing. She's funny. Beautiful. 
which is really strong too. Hmm. She sounds like a pain in the ass. Yeah, I suppose she is a bit. <laughs> but I still really like her. I just don't know how she feels about me. Hiya. Um, look, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry about trashing the flat this morning. Um, so I, <clears throat> I got you these to say sorry. And um, look, I, I promise I'm going to be more considerate in the future. Okay, thanks. So uh, am I forgiven? Yeah, of course. Have you had any joy finding me that? Not really, no. I mean, I'm, I'm still looking, but it's... I just can't afford most things, you know? Well, I'll keep an eye out for you. Yeah, it's all. Right, I'd best get back to work anyway. I left my phone upstairs. Do you mind if I just... Of, of course, yes. Um, David, um, I, I realised how difficult this must be for you. Do you? Well, uh, arguably not, but how, however hard it is for you, please remember, it is even harder for Shona. She's been stripped of all her recent memories. She has nothing, no one. Yeah, that's why I want to help. Well, that I understand, but she has been through a traumatic event. She, she nearly died. So we must expect that it's going to be some time before she recovers emotionally. What do you think she will, though? What I think is immaterial. All we can do is follow professional advice and, uh, well, support her as best we can. Try not to pressure her. No, I didn't mean to. No, no. Your intentions are good, but uh, as the old saying goes, softly, softly, catchy monkey. Yeah. Yeah. It, it is a marathon, not a sprint. Watch pop, never pop. Yeah, all right. All right, thanks, Rob. Good. And I, I promise that I will look after her for you. Bananas at the local shop. That's how we knew it was the end of rationing. <laughs> oh, before you go, would you like to try one of our special offers? You mean stuff you can't shift? No, oh. this is top quality stuff. Mm. Now, five bean soup. Well, that's good, isn't it? Five beans in one soup. Mm. Look at that. And then there's shepherd's pie in a tin. Well, what will they think of next? Use before March. Yeah, well, March has just gone. That'll be fine, that will. 2019. It never is. It is. <gasps> I ate fresher food during war, so I'll give that a miss. Thank you. Taralo. Afternoon. Oh, I see. You're doing the babysitting duty while your brother gets legless in the middle of the day. I don't have a brother. Not around here, anyway. Well, cousin what? Daniel. <laughs> ah, he's playing squash. You need a lot of beer, then, to play squash. Beer? Yes, and not just any old beer. High-quality, premium lager. What time is this? About half an hour ago. He'll be battered as a prima donna sausage by now. Maybe it was for later. No. I heard him crack the first one before that door swung shut. That lad is on a mission. So, do you think you're going to be okay? Yeah, everyone seems nice. Good. And you've got my number if you need anything? I do. You think you've got the hang of this tea making lock? <laughs> yeah, just about. Well, this one's perfect. Thank you for everything today. No problem. What? What? What's. What's going on?
Hardy and Miller uncover a shocking new suspect in Danny's murder tonight as our rerun of Broadchurch continues at nine. But first, it's a big birthday for Dorian in Birds of a Feather, coming up next.